Today we have Scandal. It was a TV show, and they made a board game about it. It was on ABC. Personally, I don't even think I ever watched the show. The only reason I bought it, this game, was because it was cheap, for one. And uh, two, I knew I could do an unboxing review for uh, you guys on my channel. See, uh, cheap. $5.25. I'm thinking it may have been cheaper than that. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Go ahead and scandal the game. If you want to win, there's no looking back. So Scandal is basically is a TV show about a president. Uh, it says lies, heartache, and double-crossing, and it's not even rush hour yet. Race through the streets of Washington, D.C. with Olivia and her associates. Complete your objectives. Click, burn phones, eavesdrop on conversations, and make it home in time to enjoy some red wine and popcorn. Okay, basically, what's inside the, is the game board, trivia cards, identity cards, objective cards, resource tiles, 17 movers, 8 plastic stands, and 2 dice and instructions. Okay, basically, the um, TV show was about a president who um, hired this lady and her firm to um, pretty much get him out of scandals that he got in. So, he must have obviously been a Democrat, right? Because they're the ones who are full of scandals. <laughs> Anyways. But basically, it's a game about the real-life President Clinton, right? So, I feel sorry for the um, characters who try to get him out of the scandals, because... If it was Clinton, they might turn up dead. Mm. Anyways, scandal. So, we got a presidential scandal going on. And a lady who works for the president and her firm who try to cover it up, basically. Yep, definitely Democrats. Let's open it up and find it out. But, had some pretty nice little actors. Some pretty, pretty girls. And for girls, might have some handsome guys. Let's check it out. Oh, P.S. Even more proof that it's probably the Democrats is it's on ABC, a liberal media network. America's Broadcasting Company. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, anyway, like I was saying, scandal. So we got this unboxing, which. Okay, these are not supposed to be open. So, there's a scandal here going on on the fact that these cards are... This is the first time it's been open, and these cards, these trivia cards, already have busted open on their own. I suppose these are trivia cards from the ABC Studios movies. I have no idea. I said maybe I mean TV show. Now, I'm just going to show you some of the trivias. We have a whole deck here where you answer it right, you go to B613. We have a whole deck here where you answer it right, you get to jump to start. We have a whole um, one here where if you answer it right, you get to jump to Olivia's apartment. We have a whole one here that if you answer it correctly, you get to go to OPA. And we have one here that if you answer it correctly, you get... Metro passes. So there's five different types of trivia, or suppose, to answer. I just moved the character cards. And um, when I moved them, I found more Metro Pass cards, taxi fare cards, and blank ones that don't do anything. I'm not sure if you're supposed to mix all these cards up together, or you're supposed to keep them in separate sets. Now, other things we have here are stands for the characters, dice, character pieces, and evidence, and intel and whatnot. Then we also have the objective card and uh, different, the, each person's card. Okay, here's the components we have. We have some stands. Now, 
obviously we have a lot more people than we have stands. So, only eight. So you get to choose one of these and only eight, up to eight people can play. We have ev evidence on laptops, we have burned phones, we have intelligence, and we have mystery things. Then each character has their own identity card. Uh, like we have Olivia Pope, which is the founder of OPA. She's a fixer. Our final task is to confront media at OPA office. And we have Quinn Perkins, which is an OPA employee. Her final task is to confront witness at Olivia's apartment. Then we have Jake Bullard, which is former member of B613, which must be a secret, uh, secret government agency or whatever. Final text is current witness at Olivia's apartment. Then we have David Ra Rosen, which is the U.S. Attorney General. His final task is to meet with informant at B-613's 16, office. Then we have Fitzgerald Grant, which is the President of the United States of America. His final task is to attend meeting at the White House. Then we have Huck, which is a former member of B-613. His final test is to confront witness at Big 613 office. Then we have Melanie Grant, which is the first lady of the United States. His final, her final test is to attend meeting at the White House. Then we have Car Cyrus Bean, which is the White House chief of staff. His final task is to meet contact at the OPA office. Then we have Abby we Whelan, or Whelan. White House Press Secretary. Her final task is to meet with informant B613's office. Then we have the objective cards for every character, which are... In this particular one, this person's objective is to collect a burn phone, place a call to the media at the U.S. Capitol, and dispose of a burn phone at the Pentagon. This one's objective is to eavesdrop on conversations at the Smithsonian, collect evidence, and dispose of evidence at the Washington Monument. This one's objective is to collect burned phone, place a call to the White House or the Washington National Cathedral, and dispose of a burned phone at the Supreme Court. This one's objective is to observe a speedy C CD deal at the Pentagon, collect witnesses' testimony, and dispose of the witnesses' testimony at the U.S. Capitol. This one's objective is to collect witness testimony, dispose of that witness' testimony at the Union Station, and observe a CD deal at the Supreme Court. This one's objective is to collect intel, to review the intel, and dispose of that intel at the Smithsonian, to eavesdrop on conversations at the Lincoln Memorial. This one's objective is to collect evidence, dispose of that evidence at the Lincoln Memorial, and confront witnesses at the Jefferson Memorial. This one's objective is to review the security footage at the Jefferson Memorial, collect intel, review intel, and dispose of said intel at the Washington National Cathedral. So, each person is giving a character and an objective. And this is the mystery character so the witness so these mystery figures here with no picture on them they're the witnesses then of course we have the regular people and it looks like the different witnesses are color-coded which, I wonder if that means anything at all, the color coding of the witnesses. Might not mean anything. Now, the weird thing is there's only one extra person. So, it looks to me like it would be a possibility if you found another stand to play a non-player game. What does it say on here for the amount of players? three to eight so you need a minimum of three there's nine characters so one of these characters is always left out now it's a possibility to play nine players but you would have to you would have to create 
three more objectives and you would if that's about the only thing is you would have to create a new objective card and a new and have a stand from another game or something to be able to play with a ninth player which if you can find nine players good luck because you need at least three for this game according to this eight, three to eight players and uh yeah usually you can't even find that um i mean you'd have to find all these people to have to be interested in the tv show scandal which doesn't even air anymore so yeah anyway Here's what the components are. The objective of the game is to be the first player to successfully complete all four of your objectives. How you set it up, how to play, what to do on your turn, trivia cards, transit, how to use it, which is metro and taxi. The OPA and the B613. Element tells and leaving a trace. Crossing paths and confrontations. Additional rules. And winning the game. This is copyright 2015, America's Broadcasting Companies Incorporation. Car made by Cardinal Industries. And that's pretty much everything that the game entwines. So remember. That if you don't want any scandals at all, worse, that's not going to happen because there's always scandals in politics. But a person that is scandalous is God because he's holy and he's perfect and he has no scandals. And God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Jesus lived a hopefully perfect, sinless, scandalous, scandal free life. Uh, and died with the atonement of our sins um, on the cross so everybody have a wonderful day like comment subscribe and share keep on gaming stay out of scandals and um comment like comment subscribe and share and tell me some favorite tv shows that you'd like and uh Comment down below TV shows you would like to see a board game of because they might actually have a board game of it. And if I find it, I'll let you know. And if I find it, I'll do a review. And just for the person who commented another name of a TV show that they were looking for a game. Um, have a great day, uh, everybody. And uh, later, guys and gals. Stay out of scandals and be good.